Fa doodle, fa doodle, fa doodle, doodle, doodle. The secret ingredient is love. Oh, I'm glad you came back. Sometimes I don't know if you will or not. This is the third episode. Actually, the second. We had a pilot and then another one. I'm really glad you're here. Today's going to be a different show. It's our first show where we have a guest host. I'm very excited. They should be here any moment. Hello! Oh, hi! I'm hi. so glad you made it. Why don't you introduce yourself to our friends? Hello, uh, my name is Maudit, and I am uh, Heather's quasi-daughter-in-law. She's not quasi. She's full on. Uh, yeah, sure. There's a baby, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> She's full on, folks. We'll, we'll let you know when it's official. official? <laughs> okay, sounds good. Excellent. Um, I brought my own apron. Most wonderful. All right. Excellent. So what are we making today? Well, today is going to be a momentous day. Yes. I am going to hand down to you the banana bread recipe. The banana bread recipe? Yes, Ooh, the... This is a famous recipe. Pride talks about it all the time. So let me show you something real quick. This is the book in which the recipe was first found. So I got this book when I was a young mother um, because I was trying to find foods that Pride would actually eat. And in here <laughs> is the banana bread recipe. It's been used so many times that you can flip right through it because the binding is like creased yeah. there. <laughs> this is the recipe. So if you have kiddos that you're feeding, um, this was great. I loved this book. So did Pride. He and I actually would make recipes from it. And it holds the secret banana bread recipe. Without my doctorizations, is, am I making up another word? Maybe, but I like it. And that's how words are created. People just use them. That's right. Sat what was it last time? Satisfactification? Satification. Satisfaction. <laughs> Wait, Winsking, yes, that was... <laughs> oh, yes, I had two in the first episode, in the pilot episode. Winsking. And now we have, um, what was my new word? Uh, doctorization. Doctorization. Doctorization, yes. So, I've doctorized this recipe, and we'll add that to what we're doing today. All right, we're going to gather some bowls and some ingredients, and we'll be right back. Are we ro Are we rolling? This is me rolling. Want to roll? <laughs> All right, so we're back. Um, we are both going to be simultaneously making the recipe, and that way we'll end up with a double batch because it's always good to have a double. It's batch. Parallel baking; it's a part of a developmental stage. Right. We're going to try and do it synchronized. Ooh. Okay. No, we're not. All right. <laughs> Beginning. <laughs> All right. So our first ingredient here is two and a quarter cups of unbleached flour. All right. So here's our flour. We tried something new, getting all the ingredients out before this time. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Ignore that sound. <laughs> no, nothing to see here, folks, except us. Sweet. So always level off the top, or at least I do. Like I say before, I said before, I'm not a professional cook. Um, I do it because I love it. I'm doing it on camera because I'm really... Um, curious about what happens in a kitchen and the connections that are made and what happens when you put food into love um, and love into food. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. And then I need a quarter cup. Two and a quarter cup of flour. You're up. One day we should film when we actually have a family meal here or a holiday. You want to talk about some food? Oh, man. Oh, man. We go hard. I've had some of you send me recordings of you singing the theme song, and I've had people comment that they can't get it out of their oh, head. Oh, man. It was stuck in my head for like a day. Yeah, so we're going to sing it in every episode <laughs> just to make sure that continues uh, to happen. Yeah. And now I have Monet to sing it with me. Here we go. Padoodle, 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 doodle, doodle. The secret ingredient is love. Yeah, you know you're singing it. And we even have applause from behind the camera. Awesome. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So our next ingredient, one teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. Excellent. All right. One teaspoon of baking powder. Our next ingredient is going to be an eighth of a teaspoon salt. We don't have an eighth, so I just kind of do half of this a fourth. Is, yeah, this is a fourth right here, so we can do half of this. All right. An eighth of a teaspoon salt. Ooh, okay. That's about, it's not about perfection, really. Sometimes I even do it this way. Yeah, there you go. Beep. 
Perfect. I like things salty. So. Mm. Yeah. Especially, we're going to be putting chocolate chips in this. Ooh, yeah, salt mm, and chocolate. Salt and chocolate. Good combo. Okay. All right, so next we need a teaspoon of the baking soda. Put a little love in your bread. Right. See, I made that Ooh, up. Ooh, excellent. I know it might sound slightly familiar, but they can't get me <laughs> Vaguely familiar doesn't count. Um, whenever I bake things for people, I like to put intentions for them into my food, so it's kind of like putting love into it, you know? So who are I making this for? Us. Oh, okay. So intentions for us. We can like manifest some really great things yeah. for ourselves. Well, us, us being you and me and Sammy behind the camera and our families. And our families, yeah. Pride, my son, her quasi, Skylar. <laughs> I should just refer to him as my quasi. I like that. <laughs> Skylar, my husband. You know. Last week I made some like stuff on the weekend because I've been baking like scones and muffins on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And, and um, our neighbor, Mark, yeah. he was so kind as to, in the middle of the snowstorm, he used his snowblower to like do our sidewalk and our driveway for us. Aww. So he got a delivery of the baked goods from the weekend. So sometimes Aww. they get distributed. He's such a lovely week. man, too. We should just bring him some banana bread as well. All right, we're going to bring Mark some banana bread. <laughs> okay. Um, I think at this point what we need to do is get the whisks. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, we're back with the whisk. Cheek. All right, so now you're going to take your dry ingredients. She does this carefully so as not to send the... All right, excellent. All right, so just whisk your dry ingredients together. I like it. It's sort of more satisfying than like sifting it. Yeah, I'm a whisker. Yeah, whisking is fun. Or are you, what's the word that you made up? A Winsker. 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 Oh, Winsker. Okay. Yeah, which I can't even remember what it means now, but I'm sure it, it, it was important. It sounds like whisker. I kind of like it. It might have been wh whisking. It means you're slightly nervous while whisking. To that's be slightly it. nervous. Yep, yep, that's it. Let's see if I can wince. <laughs> All right. All right. I feel like these are together. Yeah. What are we adding next? What are we adding next? Okay, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna go over there. We actually need um, two sticks of butter. Ah. Now this is, I usually melt my butter down a little bit. Um, it doesn't say to do that in the recipe. It's just something that I did and have always done with this recipe. And so we're gonna stick to how I always do things. I have one stick of unsalted and one stick of salted butter. I usually do a blend, 50-50. So we're each gonna take half the stick of butter. I'm gonna melt it down. She's gonna melt it down. And then we'll be back again. So now we're into the mudding, mudding, <laughs> melting the butter <laughs> or mudding. You never know. We're going to take half of each. There's one for you. Thank you. Um, half of a stick of unsalted and half of a stick of salted. We're just melting the butter, not all the way, but enough to, to get some softness in there. So putting your dry ingredients inside, aside, not inside, that would be um, we're going to move on to the wet ingredients and our first thing that we're working on is getting the butter melted down and we're going to put that in with the sugar, which I know is not a wet ingredient, but it does go in with the butter. So at this point we need one and a quarter cups of sugar added to our bowl. One. <laughs> Remember, it's all one big giant experiment. So the other thing that goes in with the butter and the sugar is the buttermilk. This is one of the things about this banana bread recipe that's a little different than a lot of them I feel um, is using the buttermilk. Now if you don't have buttermilk, you can also put some lemon, usually about three teaspoons into three quarter cups of milk. Cheers. So three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Yep. I like to smell all my ingredients. All right, so next we're gonna put in our butter. Put your butter in the bowl. Put your butter in the bowl. these ingredients together. Mm. Delicious. Blending the sugar. Let me show you. Blending the sugar and the buttermilk. Mm. 
and the uh, butter, 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 milk, and sugar until it seems to be pretty well blended. The other thing that I usually put in here that this recipe doesn't call for, vanilla. Oh, I can't believe it doesn't call for that. No, it doesn't call for that. And usually um, I like to use a bourbon vanilla actually in my banana bread recipe, but I'm out right now. One place I typically don't skimp on is my vanilla, the quality of the vanilla. Yeah. Um, I really like quality vanilla. So this is good vanilla. This is my muscles. <laughs> And I don't measure. I just bloop. And then sometimes I go mm, bloop. How much is it? Oh, you just, just I just blooped. You just, you just bloop it? Okay. Yeah, you blooped too. Mm. Oh, she ooze. Ooh. Yeah, I joke that uh, I don't actually make good cake. I just make really good frosting. And uh, the trick to that is just like a stupid amount of vanilla. Yeah, <laughs> vanilla. It's yeah. amazing. All right. How's yours looking? Good. Yep. Got some like chunky uh, bits of butter in here still, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay too. So the next thing that we need to do is actually get the bananas ready to go Ooh. into the banana bread. Okay. So this recipe calls for three bananas each. I typically freeze my like extra bananas or leftover bananas, and then I take them out when I'm gonna make banana bread. So they look like this. So if you have bananas that you're not able to get eaten, um, they're they're just sitting there and they're starting to like rot. They're not rotting. They're Over turning. Ripening. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Over ripening. They're turning into liquid gold. Mm. Just pop them in your freezer um, and you can make banana bread with them. Oh yeah, put the bananas in the bowl. So as um, bananas ripen, they actually increase their sugar content, I believe. Yes, right? it's true. Yeah. So if you use these bananas instead of, you know, ones that are kind of still yellow to some degree sitting in your fruit bowl, um, these are sweeter. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Yeah, so now you Some smush up your bananas. Gosh. Yeah, this, I really like this. This part would be really fun to do with kids too because they like smushing things. Yeah. All that on you don't really actually want right clunking. Also, with kids, like, then you start having a musical activity. <laughs> so now we have our smushed up bananas. We have our other liquid ingredients, which is sugar, buttermilk, and butter. Mm -hmm. And then we have our dry ingredients. Yes. So the next thing we're going to do, oh, we almost forgot an important ingredient. The chocolate chips? The walnuts? The cinnamon? The eggs. Oh, oh of course, eggs. Eggs. <laughs> so here's mm. two eggs. Okay. You don't see it, but off camera is my chicken. I'm just putting my hand out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I really do want chickens. So we're going to put two eggs into the, let's put them in the banana. Sometimes I, I do this banana. differently each time. It's, you know, whichever one speaks to you. Me. And fling my hair. Toss. <laughs> all right, and so then you just combine your wet ingredients all together into the bigger bowl. So now we have our banana pulp, we have our eggs, we have our buttermilk, we have our sugar, and we have our butter. Onward, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Okay. This is where dry I said we should have reverse bowl. Oh, wait. wait. Okay. So this is another ingredient that um, is not in the recipe that I always add, mm -hmm. which is cinnamon yeah. into the dry ingredients. And I just sprinkle some oh. in. Okay, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna use this clean spoon to Ooh. integrate it into my flour mixture. Did you like that technical technicalness? Yes. yes so Integration of the cinnamon into the flour. Okay. Integrating. All right, now we can combine ingredients. Okay. Woo. I usually do like, you know, a little bit at a time. Yeah. Mix. Okay. Put a little bit in and then mix that in together. Fold it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to put wiggle in my jiggle. I think that makes mm -hmm. the food taste better too. Yep, I do too. Mm -hmm. Dancing. Mm -hmm. It's that intention. You put joy into it. You Absolutely. dance. Absolutely. And I also think people can feel if you put grumpy nastiness into food. Oh. Don't be doing that with your food. <laughs> you can't Don't be feeding that to people. Be conscious of what you put into the loaf. Yeah. So there's two more ingredients that we're going to put in. Um, I like to put walnuts in the banana bread. You know, I really don't measure. Actually, this recipe does not call for nuts. So this is one more thing that I, I put in that they don't. Um, and, you know, look in our description below. We'll have 
the recipe and we'll have the additions that we You're put giving into away it. the secret recipe? I am. Oh, I figure give yeah. it away. Give like, it away. You know, the more you give away, the more it comes back to you. That's really yeah. the philosophy I have. So, and doctor it the way you see fit. Forward! <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna not over stir this. You don't want to like really activate the flour more than you already have. So it's just kind of making sure it's distributed evenly throughout. Making sure it's distributed evenly throughout. Have you noticed yet that I tend to sing things? Sing the uh, directions. I sing a lot of things. Now, the other secret ingredient is the chocolate chips. Here's, this is also not in the recipe. I'm gonna let you know. I don't use bittersweet chocolate. My trick for the, the banana bread I make that people know and love is the milk chocolate. You put in the milk chocolate. I don't know who I just became, but I'm not sure what that accent was either, but I like it. I'm, I am genitating my French on Okay. Poorly. <laughs> Leave comments below. Or don't. But we should do some, <laughs> some French uh, food. food, yeah. Again, you're noticing I'm just putting in handfuls. I'm not really measuring. Eh. Who needs to measure? Putting in love. Whoops. Again, don't over stir, just kind of oh, enough right. to get it Feel mixed like together. Might be over stirring a little bit. There's really, you know, we can't. <laughs> Sprinkling magic cho chocolate chips. Bam! Chocolate chips. So our next step is to get the pans ready. Prepare the pans. Prepare the pans. <laughs> See what happens <laughs> if you're in this kitchen long enough. It'll happen to you, you, get, you too. You get goofy. Mm -hmm. So I take some butter. Some butter. Butter. I put it on a paper towel because we're gonna we're gonna grease these and then we're gonna flour them so that the mixture doesn't stick. And you want to make sure you get your corners good. Greasing, greasing. Get the corners, get a pie on the sides. Leave no glass ungreased. All right, so our next step is to flour our pans. And then get a little. So you take some flour like so. Sound effects. Here's some for you. You don't need that much. You don't get that much. Flour. You don't get flour. <laughs> All right. And this is how I flour pans. I don't know how everybody else does it, but I slap it like this so it covers the bottom and kind of turn it. And then I kind of go up on the angle to get the sides. And I put the other pan underneath so any extra that falls out might just land in there. Again, so it's floured all the way up to the top, and I slap it a couple times. Woo! Woo! So that's what the inside looks like. Okay? And now the next step is simply to put the banana bread mixture into the pans. Oh, I've started the oven preheating, by the way. It needs to be preheated to 375. Excellent. I don't know what happened. Strange things happen sometimes. So my personal favorite way to scoop batter into any kind of pan is to use an ice cream scoop because it's really easy to control how much goes in uh, without dripping it everywhere. Oh, I hadn't thought so, that. Meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> it's like, ooh, it's getting everywhere. But you know, try to you know. Part of cooking is the fun of the messiness. So. Right, especially if you have someone else willing to do the dishes. <laughs> And then I just kind of drop the pan, drop the pan slightly. You don't want to break the glass. Just try to get any bubbles out. Air bubbles. All right, we are gonna put the banana bread in the oven, and then we have around an hour before we take it back out. All right, here we are. Don't look inside that oven too closely. All right, um, and then we're gonna set this for 50 minutes. My oven tends to run a couple degrees low. I've mentioned that in previous episodes. So I'm gonna put it at 50, which is what the recipe says is the maximum time. There's more than, you know, it's a double double batch in there, so it's definitely gonna take longer than the 50. My guess is it'll take about an hour, and then we'll be back. Yay. We're back. And as you can see right here, the end is in sight. <laughs> All right, timer off. Now we're gonna see. Ooh, they look Ooh, very they done. Look done. So 
I usually yeah. go tappity tap. Oh yeah, these are definitely done. Okay, out they come. That's, we're gonna let them cool for a few moments before we take them out of the pans, and then we'll be back for taste testing. Bon appetit! <laughs> Here we are, four beautiful loaves of banana bread. Oh. Unlike the pilot episode, it, it worked. <laughs> So now we're gonna turn them out of the pans. They haven't been cooling that long, but um, we think we think we can do this. Okay. All right, I'll do these up here. So first one, I'm gonna be careful, like, and help it kind of guide it along. Woo! Oh, it's, oh, it's a little dark. It stayed in for maybe a few moments more than it should have, but it will still be delicious. I feel delicious. certain. Okay. And voila. <gasps> Perfect. Now, I'm going to go get the knife to cut it and some butter because you don't do fresh hot banana bread out of the oven with some. Without butter on top. Without real salted butter. Smile for me! <laughs> <laughs> See the steam oh. rising? Ooh. And look, the chocolate chips did not all fall to the bottom. That, that's Evenly a good distributed chocolate Evenly chips. Evenly distributed chocolate chips. Ooh, that's some good smelling, good looking Ooh. banana bread! Mm. So, you know what we're gonna say? Get in my tummy! <laughs> All right, so here we have four, <laughs> three, I can count. Don't worry about my measurement and quantities. It's all good. That's the sound of butter spreading. Mm. It's like orchestral, you know, there's violins playing. <laughs> some more. <laughs> Watch it melt. Mm. You know you want some. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this? Great. Mm -hmm. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Bon appetit. Mm. That's the banana bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did good. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Well, th <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us for another episode of The Secret Ingredient. Uh, remember, mm -hmm. life is short. Make it delicious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. And one more time. And put butter on it. And always put butter on life. <laughs> always. No matter what you do. <laughs> one more time. Ba-doodle, 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 doodle, doodle. The secret ingredient is love. Stop filming. <laughs> we need time for the credits. <laughs> <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> time for the credits. Mm. Mm, this is good. I came out good. Mm -hmm. Fa doodle, fa doodle, fa doodle, doodle, doodle.